right there at the lower position. He's going to come up on the high side to cover. That's really not the control arm in this situ situation here. He's going to work back down, dig his elbows out, and with 101 of riding time, that's enough that they're basically to make it effective for Smith. But right now, he's going to dip, go. You see a lot of Penn State wrestlers doing that. They get those elbows to the inside. They dig that out and make the nice turn. Look for Davis to go ahead and make that turn in at this point in time. Don't look for him to be able to stay with him. I don't really think he really wanted to try to, you know, but you don't want to give up anything, give up any tie that when Davis gets to his feet, he gets right into his shot. Took that momentum and basically worked it over. Now he's got a potentially neutral danger situation and he's got a half Nelson locked in there on that overtime. This would be huge for Nebraska if Smith could get a fall. He's got plenty of time, 45 seconds, gonna settle in. This man's got to warm up every time, 40 minutes before. Take that warm up off and get ready because that was a heck of a performance. Wow. Good balance here from Hardy. Yeah, nice job of sweeping. Could only fight it for so long, Bo Bartlett's Gets to his offense early here in this first period. Now look at this finish. He brings his hips in and he gets him moving and just basically sweeps that leg when it's up in the air. It not giving Hardy a chance to develop any confidence there on the feet. Bartlett, seven bonus point victories this season. 3-1 with the escape from the Cornhusker. Basically, if you swept him the other direction, he'd probably go right into a roll through. James Franklin liked that. Quick escape from Bartlett. He's done everything right so far. As he adds to his lead, the escape makes it four to one. But it's also Snow reading Green. your opponent, knowing that he's going to come Green. with a good Hold shot, and, and then being aware of it. Rob sits off the whistle, looking for that quick escape, Five, makes the turn. Two, he stays with him, and now Rob Green. skips away, and he's on the board with an escape. And that's good for Rob because we know he's pretty good in the top position. This would be huge inside of 15 seconds. Rob's defense has been spectacular. Final seconds. You hear the danger call, and there is the takedown awarded at the buzzer. And you know that challenge brick is coming out from the Nebraska corner. Levi Haynes puts three on the board. And now Peyton Rob, because of it, wants to get to work on his feet with that three-point takedown. Doesn't really give you that forward pressure that you need to be able to do that. He's got great footwork. Now he's got a great angle on Rob. Comes back on the leg, gets both ankles and scores. Three more for Haynes. Strong guy right there. He's going to should be able to drive forward and score. We've seen Lovett get out of things before, but this will be a tough one to get out of. The true freshman puts three on the board. Listen to the crowd. Still green, still green. But Lovett comes right back and gets two reversal. Both these teams, Jim, came to scrap <laughs> on this Sunday. Before heading to Lincoln, began his career down at 133. Rolls off the whistle and gets that quick escape. Took a few seconds and we are locked up at three. Got the wrist control, the inside wrist. Now he scoops back into that leg and gets the leg in on the far side there. Should score. the takedown. Ridge love it inside at 20 seconds. <laughs> it wasn't easy as Kasak gets the top ranked 149 pounder in the country. Get you fired up. 133 pounds. No Aaron Nagal for the Nittany Lions. Instead it is Baylor Shunk. Danger Green. Nothing. Three and Van D. Gets that three-point takedown, 40 seconds in. And you can tell, Jim, Nebraska looking for bonus points once again. Nice little post, jumps into a little single leg right there. He's got his head stuffed with no, how active the lower body is there. He's able to dump, shunk to his rear end right there. Now he collects the far ankles. Let's see if he gets his head up. He does with the leg scoop, he gets points. Second takedown for Jacob Van D. Native Pennsylvania is from Union City, Pennsylvania. Was a state champion at Cathedral Prep. 6-2 following that escape from Shock. Penn State has won 54 straight dual meets. But Nebraska has come to fight on this Sunday afternoon. Which starts with an O. <laughs> Straight on shot there by Kirk Lee. Here's a great position. Look at his use his head right there. To, you know. That's what's so important. A lot of times, you know, guys will 
lose that head position up against the rib cage right there. Drive over the heavy leg and lift up on the light one. He'll go underneath to begin second period. There's uh, a roll and he's going to get the reversal three seconds in. Don't I love that? As they sit on the edge, second call on Hutmaker. Makes it 6 nothing. You could basically look at, well, if he stays in the top position, you don't get turned. It's only a seven-point decision. Well, and then there, there's the warning. There was no good option, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> now over five minutes. Now that was a good call right there, just because he's clasped his hands right there, just kind of not allowing his wrist to come out. As we go to 197 pounds, and we have a pair of Big Ten champions. Left-handed underhook, and when he gets any pushback right there, comes back with a snap, and he's just really good at getting behind and getting into his shots. Single leg here from Brooks. Roll from all red, and Brooks anticipates it well and takes the lead 3-0. Four falls. Choosing to stay in the top position, then he gets a little intentional release. Right into that collar tie. He has won five straights with bonus points, wow. including three techs, and here's Brooks again. He makes it look easy, Jim. Yeah, beautiful finish right there on his knees. Big Ten tournament, three weeks away in Maryland. All right, Two minutes of riding time there. Brooks basically lets all red go. You know, shots both sides below the ankle. Does a nice job of finishing off of it. Ooh, double leg shot right there. Nothing, nothing. No takedown awarded wow. yet. But he clearly gave the benefit of the doubt to the guy who took the shot. 3-1 score. Truax from Oceanside, California. Right there, that's, a, that's, that's what he's looking for. See how a little misdirection drag to one side? Because you just can't stay in front of Pinto very long without this happening. Lenny Pinto collects his second takedown. Now six to one. Slides in a half Nelson as Truex works to his feet. One green, neutral. Risk as Pinto will give him the escape, 6-2. Exciting first period. One green, neutral. Yeah, as easy it was, as it was for Truax to get to that leg, he's got to try to go back to that to see if he can finish. Another shot there, single leg here from Storacci. Dips the head to the inside there. Now he doesn't have a lot of room to work, but he's going to go ahead and shelf, elevate, get the real estate back. Gets that far ankle. Should score. And he's got the three. 31 takedowns and dual meets for Storacci. Logan Massa of Michigan and he fought out of so many tough positions, found a way to get it done, and you and I that day walked away super impressed. Head to the outside on a single leg. Going to stay patient here. He's got 40 seconds. Works up and gets the takedown. Yeah, nice job there. That's just really amazing stat right there. You take a look at only giving up nine takedowns amongst those guys, and really most of them with two guys. Real tough duty for Taylor. I don't think there's many guys that wrestle the pace that he does, but he gets a whip over right away, collects three points. And Shrell Taylor, 3-0, 15 seconds in. Early first period. One, two. Well, that's one way to stay with the pace, is go ahead and look for your stuff. And you know that Messenbrink is going to shoot, so there's your short offense. Right back up to his feet, those Me Messenbrink covering the fingers. Comes back through, wants to stay on the mat. Gets his feet running there. You can tell Taylor gets to the body. Hard whizzer here from Taylor. We'll see how this plays itself out. Big lift. Three for Messenbrink, and he's got his first lead of the match. There it goes, he wants to stay in the top position. Taylor reaches back into that whizzer to his feet, squares up and escapes. Well, he won't waste much time here.